so right next to our vehicle. <laughs> 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 They have popped up the roof. That means it's a fairy time. It means no worries. Let's go. The right timing of the light, it was very good. <laughs> Jumbo. Jumbo. It's safari day! We're actually standing right outside the Masai Mara gate right now. As you can see, we've popped up the roof on our safari van and we're just waiting for the gates to open. I think we're one of the first ones here and the park entry fee needs to be paid. So our uh, guide Mr. Bonfist has just gone up there to do that. So it's $100 per person per day. And this gets us access to the Masai Mara Park for about 12 hours. Do you think we'll see all the big five today? I don't know. Let's see. The Maybe big five are the elephant, the rhino, rhino cheetah, no, like leopard. Uh, leopard, wild buffalo, yeah. and lion. Well, good. Welcome to, Mas to Masai Mara National Reserve. Masai Mara is 1,510 square kilometers. So we will be concentrating on the first 1,000 square kilometers for the whole day. It is a little bit big, so we cannot tour all of it. What we do is to follow the movement of animals. And I know by the end of the day, we shall be having a good album of what we have in Masai Mara. So you are most welcome. Should you spot something that I haven't spotted, you can uh, you can command me to stop. Or if you see a scenery that you want to capture, you are most welcome. Yeah. Thank you. On the left. Oh. Wow. Look at that. It's right beside the road. Will the beast. So these guys are the ones who do the migration. Uh -huh. They are resident here uh -huh. simply because when they came to Kenya at one time, they they got injured as they were crossing the river. So they didn't have that energy to go back to Tanzania. Oh. And what they did is to move slowly close to the gate okay. where there are no cuts, where there is no danger. Okay. And they got healed here and it became, it became their home. What is that? Uh -huh. You oh, see oh, those guys there? Eh? Those are Timon yes. from Lion yes. King. Ah. Oh. The zebras look so tiny in front yeah, of well, the giraffes. Well, and my Jew, this is a baby. This is a big baby, not a grown up uh -huh. uh, zebra. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow! I can't believe that I'm here. 
Male, if you look in your midst, you will find one male with long horns. Balas are polygamous, so they live with only one male. We are hungry already, Namneet. We have sneaked in some snacks from the breakfast buffet. <laughs> this is Amandasi. It's a staple for of the Safari. humans who come here for school. <laughs> I think we may have found something. There's something coming up from the radio from that time and I see all the safari vehicles just rushing towards one side. Our driver is not telling us what it is because it doesn't want us to get to meet it in case we don't see it. Let's go, 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 let's go,
So we're just seeing a bunch of lions here, a pride of lions as they call it. And two of them, the big ones, are definitely sleeping. They're actually all lionesses, we don't see a male here. There are also a bunch of lizards just here on the rock, you see that? Look at the number of them. Yeah. Oh, so, and there's one baby lion which looks like Simba. And then it's time for the boots to come on. And I think this van is going to push our van so we can make it through. <laughs> So we are stranded. The vehicle just got stuck in the stream. And now all the other drivers are getting together to pull out our van. So they've got a winch winch line there. And they're pulling it up to the land cruiser to extract us. Shish is very excited because she's never been stuck before. In Maasai Mara. Just so happy that we're not the only ones around and all other van cruisers and people are helping us. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's more than Oh yeah. We are finally out. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> That was too soon. <laughs> Can we just get down and walk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, don't go back, don't go back. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Come on, little man. Oh, oh. Oh, at least he's moving, he's not stuck. Oh, this is one of the adventures. Yeah, of course. Everyone is stuck. I think now you should switch over to that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now you're happy. <laughs> The queue was pretty long. So now you know it's now around 10 a.m. and we are off on our first break. So we just stopped here. People are using the restrooms and there's a little Maasai market here to buy souvenirs. Uh, all the vehicles 
like allow people to get off only here in this stop and probably at the lunch break but nowhere else you can get off the vehicle Hi. jumbo jumbo so this is gilbert hi gilbert hi to you now what what is your masai name my name le papa le papa yeah papa is my masai name uh, yeah so le papa yeah gilbert is actually selling some very interesting souvenirs so So the impalas have very short tails, huh? Yes. Also, this is a lion. Yeah. And then there are a bunch of hyenas. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But it's in Zona. It's so sad. It's huge. Wow. Look at its head. Crazy head. Big foot. Yeah. Wait, calm down. It's right next to our vehicle. <laughs> That's my hand. That's now me. Don't, don't take out your head, please. Don't put your head out. <laughs> So Bonfus is just telling us that the male here wants to mate with the female but she is not following him when he leads her away on this route. She is just in the shade there and this cat is upset. The biggest thing is I never pictured that a lion would be so big. Like obviously when you watch it on TV you don't realize how big it is but it's actually really big. Oh, look at it's that. Oh, it's got a scary face, huh? Mm -hmm. 
So, that one there with the horns is a male. All of those are female. All of yeah. these are males too. And the only way they can get to the females is if these guys go and fight off that one male there. <laughs> What's wrong, Nami? Nothing. I feel like a shishira right now. Turtle behind us. So we didn't tell you this earlier, but we have decided to go to our next country right now. We are officially in Tanzania. Welcome to Serengeti National Park. So this uh, board that you see right here behind us, that's actually where the borderline marks the two countries. But of course the animals don't know and don't care for them. All of this is just one big uh, forest land. So welcome to Tanzania everybody. Tanzania! That's her camp. When the animal is hungry for lunch. I hit my head. But it's lunch. This means it's lunch time. Thank you. Now we specially wrapped vegetarian meal. <laughs> With no egg. There must be some So we just got some sandwich and bananas. And mango juice. And some chicken. What is it? Chicken. Ah, okay. So should you test one? Ah. When you finish uh, the nature walk, then you come to proceed with the afternoon day drive. As for him, more about... Uh, My name is Robert. Robert, nice to meet you. So we just finished lunch and we have walked down to the river. This is River Mara. And uh, there are hippos here. Actually, you can see some hippo skulls right here. And Shish is getting scared. No, I'm not. But you just said you're scared of hippos. Hippos are really violent creatures. They can kill humans. So that's why they have a armed escort for every person who's coming and they always carry an AK-47 with them. Crazy. You see? Yeah. Is it because it's very hot now, they're in the water all the time? Uh, but because of they are afraid of their enemies like lions, so ah. they, are, they are preparing to stay in the water during the time. Big male from the Impaka, we can the crown. So the hippos come out that way. And you can see the added tracks. 
I must say that Kenyans are really good at keeping the Masai Mara so clean. We haven't found a single plastic bottle or a wrapper thrown anywhere in the park. Yeah. Even though there are so many vehicles moving back and forth and I'm pretty sure somebody would have dumped something at some point. So good work guys, like this is really nice to see that nature is just so clean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. Training. No more team drive. Look for elephants right here, and there are a few baby elephants too. They look so cute. <laughs> They want to lose if they're all together, right? And there's all no that. Uh, we just saw a buffalo getting chased by four lions. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. The buffalo has now run off to the far end of the, yeah. the grassland. And there are like five other buffaloes there, so there's no way these lions will go there. Two lions, two lionesses were on the buffalo when we saw it. I'm not sure if I could capture it. It's over. It's over. It's so slow. I mean, it's so quick. <laughs> It is so quick. Do you like it today? Yes, very nice. Lots of animals. What was your favorite part? Last one when the lion tried to kill the buffalo. Yes. What was your favorite part, Shish? The last part, the fight between the lion and the wild buffalo. Very nice. I appreciate too for your cooperation and giving me that chance. Uh, to guide you for the whole day. Now it will jump over you. You take it? Yeah. Okay, now it's going to sit in it. What are you getting? I'm getting dinner. <laughs> Oh, look, chapati. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
So when we were looking at the hippopotamus, Namneet was remembering a song from the movie Madagascar. It's a very important song <laughs> and the lyrics are really nice. It Something goes somewhat like, like yeah. Go, you're so plumpy. Go, you're so fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the song that Shish really loves because she's a plumpy girl. <laughs> <laughs> 